Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at weather next 10 to 14 days for today's uh, final video. So day 10 will take us around the 23rd of July. We will be able to extend out beyond that the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. We're going to around a couple of weeks, have a look at the CFSV2 at the end of video over the next four weeks. And that will take us into August, uh, of course. Please like, share, subscribe on all the videos. Thank you so much for doing that, everyone. I'm not thinking very well, so I'm just going to rattle through this as quickly as I can. We're going to start off with GFS, upper air temperature, and precipitation ensembles for Birmingham. So the red line is the third year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. You see temperatures, upper air temperatures and indeed surface temperatures are on the up over the next week. It's going to become really warm, if not hot, over weekend and into next week. Dare I say it, a little bit of a hint of a heat wave uh, there for a few days at the, uh, during the weekend into next week. Uh, into more extended range, like in the second week, which takes through the last week of July, there is a little bit of a cooling trend uh, then. But overall, staying pretty warm right way through towards month's end, uh, really. So this is a prolonged, we said in yesterday's video, a prolonged, very warm, if not quite hot spell could be setting up here for the second half of July. Uh, precipitation, uh, and, uh, precipitation spikes are looking generally dry over next week, so barely any precipitation spikes to be seen in the next week. Uh, as we go through into the second week, of course, the precipitation spikes do come back then. Um, but that's extended range. You know, we might turn cooler and more unsettled for the last week of July. But it's extended range within the GFS and its ensembles, so it's unreliable. Temperature anomalies from the 13th to 21st of July are going to be warmer than average in the UK and for Ireland. And precipitation anomalies from the 13th to 21st of July are going to be driving an average too. Latest wind flow map from EarthNollSchool.net shows that we are starting Starting to build in higher pressure. Notice being west south westerlies are now beginning to get pushed off to our north. That's a sign of high pressure beginning to build. So the latest uh, forecast chart from the UK Met via the Weather Outlook for Friday shows a big ridge of high pressure building into the UK and Western Europe from the Azores, a large Azores high taking over. That high pressure is with us into the weekend. Slap bank over top of the country at 1,030 millibars. going to be a barbecue weekend. There'll be bags of sunshine and it will be turning very warm over the weekend as well. That high pressure continues into the early part of next week, just perhaps by Tuesday Bit of a hint of some lower pressure coming to the southwest might trigger some thunderstorms. But notice how the isobars are pulling in from the southeast. That's indicating pretty hot air then uh, pushing up from the continent. So next week, if anything, turns hotter but may start to become thundering. This is how the uh, GFS midnight run is looking. Again, the high pressure in off the Atlantic, bringing loads of dry, fine weather over weekend into the open part of next week. That high pressure sticks around, maybe just taking a little bit cooler in the far north, northeast, with a bit of a northerly wind. But otherwise, dry and fine conditions throughout most of next week. Heading up towards day 10, pressure just weakens a little bit. Might allow some showers of thunderstorms to break out. And in the more extended range, we start to bring in like a flatter westerly flow. So cooling things down with the GFS midnight operational run and turning things a little bit more showery through the last week of July as well. But uh, next week, so it's looking very warm. So our six said is looking at the very latest GFS run. Of course, high pressure again into the UK and West Europe bringing loads of dry, if not quite hot weather over weekend and lasting into the early part of next week as well. By the middle of next week, maybe just a suggestion of a bit of a fungi breakdown trying to come in from the south-southwest as pressure weakens and the high pressure goes up towards Scandinavia. So we might start to turn things thundering with this trough through the uh, second half of next week. It's a long way off, though. Uh, but GFS Midnight, uh, 6 head run, does eventually build that up or develop that into uh, really quite a deep area of low pressure out of nowhere. Uh, really, we get quite a deep area of low pressure setting up there uh, just beyond day 10. That's the 24th of July. Uh, we keep it unsettled then through the last week of July with further low pressure coming. So with GFS extended range operation, in the operations anyway, shifting towards something cooler and more unsettled through the last week of July. And then the GM looks like, but if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. GM uh, looks like this. Again, high pressure into the UK and Western Europe over the weekend and into the open next week, bringing loads of dry, fine, if not hot weather uh, with it. Into the middle of next week, the high begins to slip to our east. We start to pull up more of a south south east flow that will bring hotter air up from the south, but may start to get some thunderstorms by day 10 as this fungi low begins to develop 
around northern France and into the southwest of England. The upper air temperature by day 10 with a GM look really hot. Looking at 15 Celsius ice firm is throughout the whole country. Um, the hot about that's going to get temperatures into like 32, 33 degrees definitely in the south if it comes off later next week. That's well into the 90s Fahrenheit. Remember, GFS is not as hot as that. Uh, the ECL looks like this. So again, the ridge of high pressure in off the Atlantic through the latter stages of next week, lasting into the weekend as well. Dry, fine, if not hot weather, uh, you know, through the weekend and into next week as well. By middle next week, the high pressure just slipping to our east, slightly allowing in even hotter air from the south southeast. But maybe again, starting to trigger something of a fuzzy breakdown by uh, Thursday. There's a bit of a trough moving in of the Atlantic into that heat and humidity that might uh, trigger some thunderstorms. And by day 10, we begin to go a little bit flatter, a little bit cooler, fresher, and westerly by day 10 which gets us to the 23rd of July. Next week looks really warm uh, and could be quite hot through much of the week. It might turn thundery and then cool down towards the last stage of, later stages of next week, but that is a long way off. This would be precipitation type forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So a little bit showery today. Once that's out of the way, we're basic, basically looking at several days of dry weather through the end of the week into the weekend on to the part of next week. Just later next week, we uh, start to threaten some thunderstorms moving in from the south and from the southwest. So we go into that flatter uh, westerly type flow. Uh, this is, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day time, which gets us to be 23rd of July. 25 members of the ECM Ensemble have high pressure sitting to our east northeast, and they'll be bringing up, bringing up quite a hot south southeasterly uh, wind. 13 have a high pressure a little bit more towards the northwest, and perhaps bringing something of a flatter westerly type flow at day 10. And then 13 with high pressure to our west, low pressure to our northwest, and they're bringing in cooler winds from the northwest as well. So a little bit of a cool down with most of the GFS or majority of the GFS ensemble members at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to 28th of July. I have 21 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over and to the east of the country, high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, jet wind flow is northwest, southeast. So that is a lot cooler and rather unsettled as well. With this trough of low pressure, 19 with high pressure over and to the west of the coast. So it's going to be dry, but will be a little bit cooler and fresher with winds coming in from the northwest. And 11 have high pressure to our west, northwest, possibly some lower pressure towards the south. Um, so that's probably the warmest option because that's probably still going to be bringing in or trying to bring in wind from like an easterly type direction. Uh, but could be a little bit more unsettled. I think generally the idea today with model output is that the last week of July will show something of a cool down and maybe turn a little bit more shower. Of course, that's a long way off. And before we get to that, you have got plenty of uh, really warm uh, and fine weather to come over weekend and into next week. Finally, CFS V2 is a 500 millibar height anomalies break down to week peers. The first week peer will take from the 13th to the 19th of July. The coming week has high pressure, slap bang, oh, top of culture, obviously going to be dry and hot in the week ahead. And week two will take us from the 20th to 26th of July. Again, high pressure sitting over to the east of the country. We draw in a south south easy flow uh, with that. So, uh, again, weeks one and two, right towards last day, latter stages of July, looking mainly dry and pretty hot, uh, to be honest. Week three, the 27th of July to the 2nd of August, high pressures in over top of the country then. So the dry and pr the prolonged dry fine spell continues. And week four, which is the 3rd to the 9th of August, a bit of a change on yesterday when the CFS was showing cooler and more unsettled weather coming in in the first week of August. Now we keep the above average heights going over to the east of the country. Some low pressure towards Iceland, but generally that still looks as though it could be very warm, if not hot. It's a prolonged hot spell setting up with the extending range app. We saw this on the ECM 30-day forecast we released earlier. All the long range wants to set up a prolonged spell of dry and hot weather through northern and western Europe through the rest of July and going on and on and on into August. The shorter range, as you've seen, is a little bit more uncertain about that for the last week of July. Um, so it all remains to be seen, uh, really. But definitely, like the next week, anyway, you're going to see loads of dry and very warm weather. If you enjoyed this video, please can you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that, everybody. Tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. If you sub, you'll be able to see future 
uh, weather content. Thank you so much. Right, so a little bit of a shortened video. I'm not feeling very well uh, today, so uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's videos. Uh, I'm off to the dentist this afternoon. Hopefully, he gets things uh, sorted out with uh, with my uh, tooth and whatnot. And uh, hopefully, I'll be feeling a bit better when I do tomorrow's videos uh, for you. But for today's vids, that's all for now. And thank you so much uh, for watching, and have a great uh, Tuesday. Bye for now.